Hi everyone, my name is Jolien Brevels and I like to make wooden toys and decorations. You can follow my adventure on my YouTube channel, Jolien Brevels. I'm 27 years old and 5 years ago I started doing woodwork. In 2016 I discovered the beauty of woodworking. I made some simple wooden toys for my nephews and they were so happy with it. So from that moment on I decided to make more children happy and make more simple wooden toys. I made these toys in my spare time and I donated them to children in need. Two years later I started selling the toys at a Christmas market. And I've donated the money to an organization who works with people with mental and physical disabilities. In this video I will show you how you can make the Aston Martin DB5, the car from James Bond. Okay, so here I'm planing down my lumber into the right thickness. Transfer the patterns onto your lumber. If you want my plans, you can become a Patreon on my Patreon page. Or a YouTube member. I'm using double-sided tape so I can cut the same layers at the same time. Cut out the middle layers and the outside layer on the bandsaw or scroll saw. Before you remove the tape, sand the seats at the front smooth. Look how strong the double sided tape is. Now you can glue the three middle layers of the car together with wood glue. I'm adding some super glue so it won't slip that much. Cut the middle layers flush on the bandsaw. Some more sanding on the inside of the car before we close it up with the outside layers. Make a little steering wheel with a plug cutter. Glue the steering wheel in place. Align your wheels to check where your axle holes need to go. I didn't show how to make the wheels, but you'll see that at the end of the video. But I guess you know how to make them. Drill 7mm axle holes because I'm using 6mm towels as the axles. Remove enough material on the inside of the mud guards so the wheels can run freely. I'm using my scroll saw to cut out the windows. I needed to make them a bit more straight with a sanding stick. I'm transferring the shape of the outside layer to the half outside layer to make sure they will align correctly. Now I can cut it out on the bandsaw. Glue the outside layer and the half layer together.
Make sure you don't cut away the end of the half layer. Now you can cut the mud cards flush on the bandsaw. Glue the two outside layers to the body. The toys I'm making for charity are simple wooden toys. The model car I'm making in this video right now involves too much work. With simple wooden toys I can make more kids happy at the same time. So far I have made over 450 toys for charity. With my videos I hope to inspire other people to do the same. Make a little groove and glue it in place. Support your car with the rest of the half layer and cut the roof flush on the bandsaw. Some fine tuning of the roof on the belt sander. For the bottom of the car, tilt your pencil table to 4 degrees. For the top of the car, tilt your pencil table to 20 degrees. Sand away the pencil marks. Now it's time to give the bonnet of the car some more shape. This time I will do it with the Arbertech Precision Carving System. Make sure you have a good position and don't move your legs or feet. Just swing around and always make small passes. Use the contour sander to smooth it all out. Some more shaping on the side of the car and the roof. When you're done carving, use the contour sander again. Let's fix the roof, it was not 90 degrees. The back of the car also needed some shape. So using the Arbertech precision carving system again. Always check if you're removing equal material on the left and on the right. Here I'm drilling 10 mm holes for the headlights. Mm -hmm. 
Use a 10 mm plug cutter and insert the lights. Let's make a little ventilation grill for the bonnet of the car. My miter saw was set to 5 degrees, but 3 degrees will be better. Cut out the shape on the bandsaw and adjust it on the belt sander. Let's shape it a bit with a sanding drum in my rotary tool. The glue is dry, so I can cut the headlights flush with the front of the car. Put a piece of sandpaper on the bonnet of the car and sand the ventilation grill in the same shape. Then you can glue it together. So here I started making the front bumper, but I realized that the car was too straight at the front, so I rounded over the corners on the belt sander. Luckily enough, I was able to use this bumper as the bumper for the back side. Chamfer the edges of the bumpers on the belt sander. made some little thingies to go inside of the bumpers. So here you can see me draw a new front bumper. Now I still need to do some more shaping around the headlights. And now we can glue the bumpers in place, the rear lights, the grill, the rear lights, I mean. My R in English is not that good, I'm sorry. This is a little chick I made to drill a hole in a wooden dowel. These wooden dowels will become the mirrors. Some more shaping of the mirrors with a rotary tool. Mm -hmm. 
drill two holes on the side of the bonnet of the car and now you can insert the mirrors. So here you can see how I made the wheels of the car with a Forstner bit and a hole saw. But I forgot to film when I glued the wheels onto the car. Finish the car with a few coats of mineral oil and let's clean up the shop so my car can go into the shop. My real car, I mean. Okay, so this was it. Thanks for watching until the end. Did you like this video and did you like this car? Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you think about this car. And I'll see you in one of my new videos. Bye!